first of all, this is a really exciting event. You get, I mean, I think so. How Super is, exciting. How is it meeting friends? Oh, it's awesome. Our, our fans are tremendous. They're wonderful. We're, you know, I'm, I'm active on Twitter with everybody, and so, you know, I, I know some of the people that are here. We've had long conversations on Twitter, and it's really great to put, like, a, a name, a handle with a face, I guess is the right way to say it these days. But it's, it's really great, and to see how um, appreciative they are of Jeff and the show's writing and all of the characters through all the seasons. It's just really lovely, really lovely to be a part of. I've been trying to get everyone I know to watch Teen Wolf. What do you think that, and what do you think it is about the show that people just love so much? Um, I think it's, it's a part of the inclusiveness that we have on the show. I also think there, uh, you know, I've had this conversations many times with people. It's like, our, um, our monsters aren't monsters anymore. You know, they're, they've been humanized. They've been given these different traits. Our monsters are our heroes now. And so our show is filled with heroes and people that are, you know, uh, sometimes ordinary people doing extraordinary things, sometimes extraordinary people doing ordinary things. And so it's, it's an it's a interesting mix. What, what can you tease about where Melissa is after the events of last season? Well, she's out of that root cellar. <laughs> Wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Thank you, Jeff Davis. Um, I think that there's a lot of um, excitement and also a lot of turmoil this year uh, with family. And I think I should just leave it at that. That was going to be my question. She's now leaving with two teenage boys who are possibly going after the same girl. How is that working out? You know, people have asked me that, and um, all I can say, because people are like, well, do you approve, and what's going on, and what do you hear? And I always just say, like, I only know what Scott tells me. That's how Mama McCall operates. I think she's kind of hands-off. And I, and, I, and I question, like, I have a 24-year-old daughter, and so we talk, 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 talk. Um, but I wonder with moms with sons if it's different, if you kind of have to let the son kind of dictate the information and the relationship. That's my choice, and that's what I'm honoring, you know, because he's a young man. He's a wolf. I mean, he can tell me what he wants. <laughs> it comes off great, so. Oh, thank you very much. How's the relationship between Melissa and Isaac going to evolve then? Because... We have some involvement in 3B. We do. There's some stuff, you know... Um, I can't give anything away, but you know, my, my occupation and who I am and where he's living kind of collide. Interesting. Is Jeff Davis behind me? I'll totally tell you guys what's happening. No, I'm kidding, I can't. <laughs> and uh, I think a lot of people are hoping for something to happen with uh, Shara, uh, Shara Stilinski and Melissa. Any hints of that at all this season? I think that we're still kind of like dancing around one another, you know, I think that there's a long history there. I think that you find in 3B, there's a couple of little bit more uh, nuggets as to how long they may have known each other, how, how deep the relationship goes. Um, for me, I, I would like to see that dance happen for a little longer, because for me it's like, you dance and that's fun, and then finally once you stop, then what, right? After that kiss, it's like there's that whole other story stuff that happens. To me, it's the percolating stuff that's a lot of fun. And I, and I think from everyone that I've talked to, the percolating stuff is fun for them too. Right? But I'm, I'm curious, now that the sheriff knows about all this supernatural stuff happening, will he be confiding to Melissa? Will they talk about that and how they deal with it? I think that um, he is going to be very occupied with how this new information affects him and affects him at his work and effects with his son. I think he's going to be really busy with that. All right, and finally, my last question for you is, do you have a message for the fan as they get ready to watch this new season? I hope you guys are as excited as us to watch 3B. And uh, thank you very, very much for tuning in every single week. We try our best to put on the best show there, and we wouldn't have the best show without the best fans. And so we sincerely thank you every day.